So hello there, the name is Bones Chumanimedu, and I warmly welcome you back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to design a social media flyer. Yes, so we are just going to do something random, there's something very nice. So stick around and stay tuned. So the very first thing we like to do here is to open our Photoshop and then this is our canvas that will be working on. You can check into the description. I'll be using some files um, and then you can just check there to download them. So the very first thing I like to do is to bring in this old one here. So I'm just going to drag and drop it here and then I'm going to take off the background. So I'm just going to click on remove background here so um the last time that i did a video someone was asking which plugin did i use to remove the background it's actually not a plugin this is the um new photoshop that i'm using i'm using the cc24 that is what i'm using yeah so i have this remove um background option here so assuming you are using the older version so you can just come to select and you come to subject and then that is going to select your subject for you but I'm actually not going to select my subject here. I just want them to take off the background. So I'm just not going to use that format. But you can use that if you want. So I'll go ahead and press Ctrl D. And then let me just use the remove background. So now when I press on remove background, it's actually going to mask this image here for me. So if I should hide the background, you realize I have something like this here. Yeah. So basically, this is what I have here. Um, the next thing I would like to do here is to rasterize this particular layer. So we right click here and then we choose rasterize layer. And then we right click in this uh, mask boss here and then we select apply layer mask. So after we apply the layer mask, what I'm going to do is to move to um, filter and then I'm going to move to camera roll. So after choosing camera roll filter, we're just going to play around here with some of the settings. So I'm going to test, I'll, I'll come to texture and then I'm going to put it on 100%. So now let me zoom in so I see what I do, uh, what I'm doing well. So this is texture and then um, let me scroll down. Let's scroll down here. Okay. So let's move to clarity here and then uh, let me make it a little bit darker here. And then um, let's move to details. So we'll come to detail and then we pick sharpen. So let's sharpen this here this way. And this, let's reduce the noise a little bit. I think 12 should do. So now let me zoom out and let's see what we have here. And then let's click OK for that. Okay. So the uh, main purpose of doing this is to, um, I just want to add um, a little bit of, um, I just want to add a little bit of um, um, variety to the picture. So I just want it to look a little bit um, sharp, like dramatic portraits here. Basically, that is what I want to do. So with this, um, let's create a gradient overlay behind this particular subject here. So let's click, let's choose the background. Let's choose this icon and let's choose gradient. So now after choosing the gradient, Photoshop is just going to give you a random one. So I'm just going to select a random one. Let's see. Make sure you change it from linear to red out. And then, um, let's see. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm just going to sample a color here this way. Uh, and then the next color i'm going to sample something darker okay uh, but i don't think i like this one so let me change it oops okay um, i think it's actually not giving me what i want so let me just change it from here let's see this no 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 um Okay, I think I can go with something like this. Okay, so something like this is better here. So I'm just going to choose this. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to create um, a shape behind it. So I'm going to select my shape too. So right click and make sure you choose custom shapes. So now I just developed some custom shapes on my own. If you want to know how I did this, um, I will leave a link there for you to watch that video. So I have a video on how to create this type of um, shapes so i'm just going to create this shape here and then i'm going to pick a color so i think this should do for me this color should just do it for me and then let's play around with the blending modes now okay so i think 
uh, luminosity should do and then let's decrease the opacity okay so now leaving it here this way the next thing i would like to do is to add gradients to this again so i'm going to choose the gradients and then i'm going to draw out the gradients here this way so i'm going to have something like this here but it's looking um a bit awkward because the color here and this color the background here is actually not blended together so let's change the color here this way um oops okay so we can change the color here this way i think we should pick something darker okay so i think this should do so i'm just going to keep this here this way i just feel like increasing this so um let's come back to the old one Control t for free transformation and then let's just increase the size so i'm going to leave it here this way um yeah let's zoom in and let's see so the texture is popping up okay so um let's go ahead and then group these two and then we can name this background so we can just name this background and i'm going to leave it here and then i'm going to lock it so um what i want to write is uh god day so yeah um i also leave the font for this particular tutorial in the description so you can just um, download it so god day um let's see so god day let's just do the d this way okay so i think this should do so god day okay so i'm going to put this here this way Okay, so um, I think I have to lock this too as well. Okay, so I have here God D. God D. God D. Yeah. God D. So I just feel like um, a normal day when you get here, let's just say you want to add a text or something, that is up to you. So um, we can just draw this text box here. That is if you want to add any text at all. And then let's choose the Times New Roman for this. And then um, we just go ahead and then decrease the size to, let's just say, um, 7. Okay, 7 is cool. Um, yeah, let's leave the color on white. And then let's choose a left and line. So let's just assume you want to add some text. You can just go ahead and then add the text this way, depending on what you want to do. So let's just say you want to add another one. Um, sorry. You can just bring this here and you can just pick another text and then you bring that particular text here so depending on what you want to do you can just play around always um but for the sake of this tutorial um, i'm just going to shift this here this way and then i'm going to bring this here um you don't try to read what is there because it's actually not readable i'm just using the placeholder text to write this okay so let's just see i put this here and then let me center this okay so i can put this here this way that is god day god day god day yeah um let me work on the background one more time i think um the one behind is actually too bright yeah so let me just decrease it a little bit so i think this should do so i think this should do i'm just leaving it here this way so the next thing I would like to add um, is to add something. Um, let's see. I have this. Yeah. So let's drag and drop this here. Okay. So this actually looks like uh, is it an ink splash? It looks just like a splash. So I just don't want the whole thing to look um, that plain. So I'm just putting this here. And then one more thing for me to add. I have this texture here. You can also download this in the description so yeah so i'm just going to pull this up to cover it pull this up to cover it yeah and then i'm just going to make sure i cover this whole thing and then we can just play around with the blending mode so on a normal day just normal will do so you can just decrease it and then you have that form of effect inside if you like you can just 
choose um, other blending modes and then they are going to work so yeah you can just play around with them and then let's see what we get but i'm going to leave it on multiply i'm just going to leave it on multiply yeah so as you mean you just want to do a social media um flyer or yeah you just want to do something to motivate yourself or to motivate others you can just do it like this god day god day yeah god day god day god day so yeah i think i've come to the end of this particular tutorial here um it wasn't anything that difficult it was something simple it was something simple but thank you for tuning in today i just want to say anything that you're going through just make sure you relax and have it at the back of your mind that's god day god day god day yes um thank you for having me today the name is prince chuman you can always call me Kwame photoshop and i'm out peace